The roads and streets of Dubai are known not only for sports and luxury cars, but also for classy cars such as these. Recently joined by a first-generation Corvette, known as C1 among enthusiasts, the 1958 Chevrolet Corvette. This classy Corvette has been brought in by Abdullah Nuruddin, a Dubai businessman and driving enthusiast. The Corvette was introduced late in 1953, so this one came five years later. The 1958 C1 had a lot of chrome, like these lines on the fender, the chrome suspenders on the rear, but it also had a few slats less on the grille. It used to be 13, but now there was only 9. Before 1958, there were only two headlamps. This year saw the advent of four with chrome bezels. Many of these design changes are unique to the 1958 facelift and vanished the very next year. The Bonnet 2 has a classic quality about it. It's open the other way. C1 Corvettes are usually some of the best maintained classy cars available in the market. Look at this engine, spick and spam. The steering, the gauges behind it, the vertical console and its simple buttons all of it give you an impression of having entered a seafaring vessel's engine room. The speedometer is marked in miles as it's an American car and goes up to an ambitious 160. The buttons are rather simple, operated by a push-in, pull-out mechanism. The only buttons involved in operating the soft top roof are the press button locks. Seat belts were known to be introduced in 1958, but this one did not have one till the time the registration demanded it. The passenger side rear view mirror too had to be brought in. The engine size is marked as 283 cubic inches, in today's terms 4.64 litres. It used to come in four variants ranging from 230 horsepower to 290. With a top speed of 191 km per hour, 0 to 100 came up in about 7 seconds. Those days, the gearboxes available were a 3 speed and a 4 speed manual and a 2 speed automatic known as Power Glide. This one is a 4 speed manual. In 1958, this Corvette could have been bought for around the $3,600, but now it costs 20 times more. From its purchase in the US to getting it on road in Dubai, Abdullah had to spend close to $85,000. Admiring its stunning looks and dreaming about holding that slender steering wheel and the pure classic gear stock is one thing. Driving it is another. This isn't driving, it's time traveling.